everyone, I'm Caroline and I'm from Italy. I'm Ingrid, I'm from Norway. I'm Nora and I'm also from Norway. I'm Sofia and I'm from Germany. I'm Daniel and I'm from Russia. And we're representing the IB at Senja Vidragoyne Skule here in Finsnes. And we're going to be taking you around on a business trip in a region of Senja. One of the biggest businesses in our area is Finfjord AS. They produce ferrosilicon, silica and electric power. It's quite famous as it's actually one of the biggest producers of ferrosilicon in Europe. And one key point to understand what in the world ferrosilicon is used for is to know that it is involved in the production of steel. And this famous quote by Greta Thunberg about fairy tales of eternal economic growth puts the focus exactly where it has to be. How can businesses such as this one think green? Finfjord AS is not a very green business due to the big emissions of carbon dioxide and water vapor for instance. But in 2011 they started the process of reducing their footprint on our planet by using warm warmth released from the big ovens to produce electrical energy. Recently, they also started using worms left over to produce algae, who eat carbon dioxide and phosphate, which are toxic substances who are released quite a lot here, both in Finkenbottom and in fishery, which you'll learn later is a big thing here. The algae can also be used in the production of fish feed and nutritional supplements, so they are quite cool. The fishing industry makes up the vast majority of industry in Sanya, with an export of 10 billion per year and a thousand of the 15,000 inhabitants working within the industry. There are 16 different producing companies, three of those owned by Bradley Carlsen, a seafood corporation located on a small island called Guse. Bradley Carlsen has all types of fish, fresh, solid, dried or frozen fish, fillets, etc. They catch different species of fish, such as salmon, cod, sea, haddock, wing and many others. They have several certificates to play into food safety, and seafood from Sanya is exported directly all over the world. All the processes take place locally, which pollutes less than exporting to be handled. This does not mean, though, that the industry is environmentally friendly. Within fish farming, there are many problems which need to be addressed. Big ones are how these farms are damaging to the ocean ground and wildlife, and salmon lice sometimes spread from the facilities. This industry has big plans for growth in upcoming years, and Senna has a focus of sustainability which makes for many new opportunities, solutions and booming economy in Senja. Senja is so special because you have every aspect of Norway on one island. There are beaches, mountains, it's surrounded by the Arctic Sea and it's covered with forests. Here you can experience the Arctic summer nights as well as the polar winter nights. You can go hiking, fishing, skiing, dog sledding and so much more. The area offers such a wide variety of activities and it performs a very important role in the community. In fact, it is district friendly because it serves as a great income for the region. The tourism is growing, but it still contributes to a large sum of our income because so many people want to experience our Norway in miniature. Although tourism was calmed by the pandemic, Senja still has great plans regarding her future of tourism. The district is planning on building new hotels, shops and restaurants. Since this industry is offering so many jobs as well, the district is going to build new schools and apartments for newcomers. But you might ask, how is this intense development sustainable? Well, it isn't really, but it isn't as black and white as you might think. Firstly, these jobs and opportunities for people are necessary and it will greatly benefit our generation in the future. The tourism here is on a sustainable path. We are adopting a new system to making sure that this industry is not as harmful for the environment. The district is aiming at achieving the sustainable mark, which is a label that categorizes the region for being sustainable in its tourism. Plus, people here understand the importance of preserving this healthy nature because it is one of their greatest values.